water source. So not necessarily scared, but they definitely respect one another. But if push comes to shove, the hippo is going to move out of the way, I reckon. Because an elephant is much larger than the hippo. And they're just as nimble in the water as they are on land. This is so great. <laughs> Brandy Bush, wow, what a fantastic compliment you all compliment towards the elephants. You said that this is the best elephant interaction you've seen since you started watching Safari Live seven months ago. Well, that's fantastic. We've actually had some cracker sightings in between those seven months. I've had some good ones definitely, but perhaps you, you had missed it. But anyway, Brandy Bush, I'm glad that you're watching this afternoon. I'm glad that you've made it for the Sunset Safari. This is definitely one for the books. It looks like they might get ready to leave the dam though. See how they're all starting to move towards the edge now. Perhaps they've had their fun. Like I said, it's it, it must be tiring for them to push a, push them, shove each other around though from pretty much most of the afternoon. So they will eventually start heading out. Oh, well, this one's getting a helping hand now. Perhaps it's going to get a shove right up the bank. <laughs> it's trying to run. That must be terrible. You all know how hard it is to try and run in the pool, if any of you have ever done that before. It's not easy. It's amazing that the, of course, the elephants are able to do it. Hippos, I think, are the absolute best when it comes to stashing through the water. Oh, there's so much going on. The blacksmith lapwing is at it again, chasing all the other birds around. The hippos are opening their mouths, one after the other. This is great. Now, Adela, Natalie, a question from the two of you, and that is, can elephants, no, do elephants know how to swim instinctively, or do they need to learn? Well, it's interesting when you watch herds of elephants cross rivers with little ones. You, you typically see the herd gathering around the young calf that's maybe not able to walk through the water and actually has to swim. I think it is instinctive. Um, but you'll have mom and the other females around giving a helping hand. What they have done, there's amazing footage of an elephant crossing a river and it looked like the little one got washed away slightly. So the whole herd ran out and one of the females, probably mom, actually put its trunk underneath the belly and supported it and held it above the water. Obviously they'll snorkel, they'll stick their, their trunks out of the water and breathe like that. So it doesn't matter if they, their heads are completely submerged, as long as that trunk is up so that they can breathe. But I think it's definitely instinct, in, an instinct. I think in the first couple of weeks of their life, maybe even a few months, it'll be very difficult. And I'm sure you'll find that the adults will try and avoid crossing any raging rivers or typically deep spots. But eventually, they'll go back to it. I've now counted the hippos opening their mouths seven times. This is amazing. It must be because of the elephants around here, obviously causing quite a stir that they're all reacting in that manner. I know that this is normally the time that they open their mouths, but normally it's not as frequent as that, which is really cool to see as well. This is beautiful. Now it's gone very quiet. They're not splashing as round as much. They're definitely starting to settle down now. Who knows? Maybe they are like young kids and they get a second wind and start pushing and shoving each other once again. Now, Shelly loves Ellie's. We're thinking of exactly the same things today. You've said, where is Vlad during all of this? Well, I was looking for him as well, because I was wondering where he could honestly be. And I've checked the banks. I can't see him. I think he's obviously seen these elephants and moved in the opposite direction. I have actually seen a crocodile launching out of the water before, and I've showed some of you a photo that a guest of mine took and, and was tried to bite the crocodile's tail, uh, tried to bite the elephant's tail, which was amazing, but I don't think that Vlad and Boris care too much for elephant. I think they're rather feasting upon the barbel. Maybe they're up at the open area, uh, just to the south of the last room at Chitwa. There's that sort of bank where we see the elephant wire. They often lay up over there. I think that might, might be the area that they've gone to. But this is so, so fantastic, unbelievable, amazing, special, peaceful, all the words that you can think of, that's exactly what's going on right now. There's the hippo, showing its big teeth. Yeah, shake your head. 
They look like they are dancing. I think we need to add some music to that. What's, I was going to try and drop a beat, but I don't really know, unfortunately, how to beatbox. We need, we need Brian or VM or Darby. Seb, can you beatbox? Not right now. No, Seb, <laughs> Seb's not participating today. No, not right now. My hands are quite busy. Were they on the fire? Yes. Nah, yes, just with the animals. Beatboxing is only good for animals. Look at them. <laughs> is that a hippo? Look at this wave. Do you see it? Mm. No, I think it's the wave they're making. They're make oh, there must be. That's where the log is. Sorry, that's exactly what's going on. There's actually a big log there because I watched that one elephant stand on it and I thought for a moment it was maybe a hippo because that's normally mm. the wake when you see a hippo charging underneath the water. It's, it's so scary when that happens. I can't actually describe to you how intimidating it is when you, you don't know what's coming towards you, but all you know is, is it's a wall of water. But I think that because the way that that log, perhaps it's the same crocodile log that I've made you all stare at for quite some time. And if Rebecca's still watching, she'll remember. <laughs> she'll remember that day when we were convinced there was a crocodile that was about to catch the impala at the edge of Chetra Dam. And, uh, and I think then the water was just sort of pressing over that. And, and then creating that wake. Oh, I got so excited that we we're gonna see a charging hippo. But there are some hippos. Look, the hippos are approaching the elephants now. Let's see what's going to happen here. They look like they're swimming over to them. One's got his mouth open. They're definitely not impressed. Look there, you see there? Showing how unhappy he is. He's saying, get away from here. This is my dam. Who are you? <laughs> now I'm sure the elephants are going, oh, that fella's got a temper. Wouldn't Bob just calm down? Let's see. Oh, look, 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 it's going. Look how quickly they can move. Bobbing up and down and, and of course propelling off of the ground. Like I said, unfortunately splashing about like that is not going to do too much to upset an elephant, but maybe he's going to do a surprise attack to the two that are fighting. Let's see if he's going to pop up again. He's, he's, he's moving very, very fast. That is very brave of you, Hippopotamus. He's called in for the reinforcements. His friend is coming now from the other side. Could be quite exciting. I don't know where that hippo is going to pop up. Maybe he's panicked and turned back and, and decided, no, nope, nope, I couldn't do it without you. They're much bigger than I thought. I'm just I'm scanning carefully to see. Oh no, he's back up in the same spot. Chicken. <laughs> he was so determined as well. Ah, look at me. I'm so big and strong, almost like a King Kong pounding his chest. That's what I pictured that to be shouting out saying ah look at me and or, or rambo running in screaming but that didn't do anything to scare the hippo uh, the elephants unfortunately they actually didn't even turn and worry about the hippos careful now elephants there's birds nesting on that island skywalker you said it could have been a showdown that would have been a very exciting showdown indeed skywalker i would have loved to have seen that actually so my money would have been on the elephants. I think the hippos would have got a hiding. They'd have to be very, very careful taking on elephant bulls, and especially bulls of this age too. And we've just seen how boisterous they are. They want to, you know, push everything around, bash, bash their tusks together. So I don't think an elephant would have been too much of a problem. Oh, wonderful. Maybe they're trying to build a pyramid underneath the water. You know how cheerleaders always form pyramids or I remember my brother when we were swimming he used to sit on my neck and then stand up on my shoulders and jump off maybe that's what they're trying to do but you're doing it all wrong you need to use a different technique elephants faith you said that it looks like a circus act I, right that's actually the music we can cue there we go there's the circus music but i promise these are completely wild elephants they are not trained in any way they just enjoy the water that much in case you have just joined us and you're wondering what on earth is going on here they're loving it even their friend is coming back he's obviously got a serious case of fomo at the moment because he got bullied, he got pushed around quite a bit. I think he was slightly embarrassed and he decided he'll just go and feed for a little bit. But he is slowly making his way back down. He came charging out of the bushes just a moment ago with his head held high. 
I think he's also just as upset as the hippos are. But I'm, maybe he'll come back again. He didn't get a full swim. He didn't submerge himself completely. What a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> there the hippos coming back again. Oh, careful boys. Careful, careful, careful. They're much bigger than you. I wonder if they're going to be brave enough. Of course, they are getting more and more active now. I think that elephant has seen them. You see how he's just sort of settled down now. Maybe he's just watching what the hippos are going to do. Nah, not interested. <laughs> I almost couldn't tell you which end of the hippo, which end of the elephant that was. This is so great. I've actually been so lucky to see so many sightings like this. I actually didn't realize how fortunate I actually yeah. am. Francis, all the way from Israel, you've said that this is really one of the best elephant sightings. The hippos agree with you. They're saying, yes, Francis, that is the truth. <laughs> Tesla, my young friend who's only seven years old, says, good job. Tesla, I imagine that you gave me a thumbs up as well. That's the picture I had of you in, in my head. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's not me doing anything. It's the elephants doing all the hard work and the hippos. So I suppose we all better say thanks to the animals. And if I had my copper chalice, my Moscow mule cup this afternoon out on safari, I would cheers to the elephants because they definitely deserve it. And hopefully they'll go out this, this uh, evening and go and get some marula beer. And that's what I'd imagine elephants would drink. <laughs> they love the fruit so much. This is actually unbelievable. Now the birds are starting to chirp again. We don't have the guinea fowls coming down to join us today. The Egyptian geese have uh, vacated. Remember when I said I'd be concerned when I don't see any Egyptian geese at the dam? They've all gone. Even the ones on the island have said, no, we're not having any of this. It's too dangerous. We're out. I can hear an Egyptian goose now. Last one standing. Oh, this is so wonderful. I could fall asleep to these sounds. You know, everybody listens to the sounds of water. You know, it's so peaceful. I'd prefer it if it was just sounds of elephants splashing about or even hippos. Right, we'll see what else is happening around here. We'll spend a bit more time with these Ellies, but I'm going to send you across to Tristan, who's still with the very sleepy Tandy.